Welcome back to the Sports Central. My name is Vladimir Kim with Twitter Diving 42 now with me for company and we're ready for the talking point in the world of football. In the normal song, I say football, here we go. And it's quite interesting when I say that because we start with the Nigerian Premier Football League and the action that took place over the weekend. A first interesting feature was Ahmed Musa bagging an assist for Kano Pillars despite them not having a victory in this one. And Remo Stas reclaiming the top sports is that conversation. It gets further exciting. Well, we saw the likes of big games that took place yesterday and many games will be anticipated today with Twitter. And I begin with you now. Yeah. Uh, you saw the games, you saw the traction that happened and the beauty of it but exciting feature in the world of, of footballers Bayelsa United who got a 1-0 victory over Hatland a football club yesterday academy Warriors still unbeaten a peeping in by football club 1-0 at home and Carlo Pilis won Quara United won Ahmed Musa still turning up to the party the way everyone is talking about it and the Warriors were absolutely fantastic a 3-1 a victory against Platy United and Sunshine Stars won Nassau United 0 a Remo Stars 1 Bendel Insurance 0 and Remo back to the echelon of the table now and everyone is ready for it now i don't know if you're anticipating the horse race that's coming in this yeah. one rambo stars reverse united aimba a football club aimba still number three reverse number two yeah. a back-to-back -back battle between these two absolutely well i think aimba in recent times have actually faltered the alliance uh, they lost the jaws yesterday but interesting because you cannot still, you know, look at the Imba International and look at the basic fact that we still have a whole lot of matches to play. So I can still call them title contenders. By the way, Remo Stars, top of the table now looks quite interesting. So if Rivers United wins today against Niger Tornados, they're back at the top of the table. So it shows you some level of intense pressure coming with Hoofs will be top of the table till the end of the season. But it's gradually becoming very exciting. I'm also happy for, you know, um, Bielsa United. It was a case of two strugglers, Bielsa United against Hartland FC. So one had to win for the other. So Bielsa United were the better side at the expense of Hartland FC. But going forward, I want to see how Remo Stars keep that particular consistency going. We talk about the last two seasons. They have usually been runners-up of the MPFL, you know, title, and it's not really good for them. Daniel Gumodede has to win this one. Otherwise, might just take them another three years before they contend again for the league title. Because at the end of it, you probably may not be able to keep some of your best legs after staying for two seasons near success syndrome. Somewhat, somehow they've managed to do that. Yeah, they've managed to do that for two seasons. So if, if they miss out this season as well, never can tell what gets to happen to those players. Well, to whether it sounds like a prophet of doom for Rebel Stars in this one, but for the team, I'll come to you now. You've seen the, the Nigerian player of football, like how it's panned out so far now. I'm exciting features, and a big one would be Rivers United going away from home. To Niger and others today. Considering the battle top of the league now, a Remo Stars are back. They need to win to go back up, and it could be consequential against Niger and others. You see them having that chance, but before you answer, let's talk about the games that are taking place today. And today will be Kordu City against Lobi Stars, and um, Shooting Stars against Katsina United, Niger and others, Rivers United, and Aqua United against Enugu Rangers. Before we talk about Aqua United quickly, a Rivers United going away to Niger and others. What are we expecting in this one? Well, if the judge is going to do his thing, you know, where, since he um, left the Super Eagles job to Rivers United, I think he's shown why he should have succeeded at the Super Eagles job if he was given the time. You know, he's been firing with Rivers United on all cylinders. So I think the man has got what it takes to, you know, maybe compete for the title mm -hmm. this year. Looking at Niger tonight, was not really good this season. So I think he can actually go out there to Niger State and get a draw maybe. But also, what, what, I, want, what I want to say is... Um, Ahmed Musa for Kano Pillars. I think he chose the quality, the golf in quality between home based players and players that have gone to Europe. Come on, look at this man. Every game, even if he does not give an assist, he, you know, you just see the golf in quality between him and other players. So I think this also brings the fact that our home based players are not getting ready for the Super Eagles. Well, Otto Davin first raised the point, the point I've always been thinking about in mm. recent times. Ahmed Musa, and when you look at the Super Eagles of Nigeria, many people say we don't want to see him at the Super Eagles of Nigeria. And the Turkish League, not performing so well, contract terminated, and he's back home. I remember even some time, some point, I went to, um, uh, uh, was it Saudi Arabian Lake, uh, one of those Eastern um, Eastern um, Asian Lake, right. in that direction, it was quite difficult for him. And now, he's returned to Nigerian Premier Football League, uh, scoring goals left, right and centre, bagging an assist. Does this speak volume about the league now not being that competitive for a player who's not really doing so well, uh, coming back home? and flourishing so easily a player who's been out of action for a very long time mm. uh, particularly without a football club so i think as a matter of fact um i wouldn't say the league and the quality of the league is not top there up there rather oh, i would say i would say 
particularly some of those quality players that we had in recent times are leaving the, the shores of a country. So in most cases, when you have a player who's who's been here, that's that's it. That's it. Basically. Maybe you could also look at it from that angle. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm looking I'm looking at I'm looking at a case where. In a situation where we had quality players still in the league, mm. both of them staying in the league, I would have actually seen whether or not Akbar Musa will be flourishing the way he's at the moment. But take nothing away from the man, a quality player, an experienced player as well. But the conversation now about, you know, returning back to the Super Eagles of Nigeria, I still don't agree with it because we're having young players already, talented players. I definitely look man is firing on all cylinders. At the moment, we're talking about contending for car best player. The other one, we've also got Samuel Chukwe, is that Moses Simon doing quite well. So, I see. Conversation is a crazy question mark about the demand. We always talk about home based players are taking center stage on the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Well, if Ahmed Musa is doing this in the lake compared to the rest, that's a concern. It, it certainly shows you that the quality is still, still not up there. Manager gets to manage it. Absolutely. So, I think at the because moment. You have to give homegrown players opportunity. De definitely. You, you, you still have to. You no. earn your opportunity. Nobody gives it to you on the planet. No, I, I think. Here's yeah, yeah, what I think now. But, and get to grow there. Yeah, you, you've got every single month you've got best players in the league particularly so if you could actually you know give those players who've done quite well in every single month opportunity whenever we have international friendly games you never can tell they can actually you know flourish in those games and maybe stake their claim at the national team going forward so i, I still do not feel that we do not have quality legs right here in the shores of a country oh. Oh, the guys have spoken from two mouths and one of it, the league isn't good enough. The players in the home front not good enough. On the other hand, there's still quality. Whatever David says, I'm trying to see how we can match that and uh, such a headache for the coach in that direction because when you look at the league, the best players are leaving the league and Ahmed Musa returns to the league and quite flourishing. Lots of question marks here and there. But quickly, one last one from the Nigerian Premier Football League would be Aqua United against Rangers a Football Club in Oyo. The match takes place um 5 30 pm today in Fontina. It's been a struggle season for Aqua United. I felt like I could have skipped it but I can. It's a home front here we have to talk about it. Aqua United against Enugu Rangers now a big one. It, the battle between a team that's struggling last season the managed to escape relegation this season they're already in the relegation battle now 19th in the log just how many points five points the uh, same old same old many would say with a coach Babaganaro now against Enugu Rangers the top side. Starting from where they left last season, I think they are just going to finish the job of relegation for me because Aqua United have failed to, you know, turn up to the party when that sounds teams. disrespectful. Oh come on, it's not disrespectful. We're talking about Aqua United. Their performances this season have been below no. par. Come uh, on, hold on. They, they've hold won on, just hold one, on. hold on. one I'm match. Not, I know you're going to prove it. Everyone agrees <laughs> to the stats, but that line that you you said, he said, look, the start of where they finish off what, what, in the relegation of... again. Exactly, that's well, what happened. Somehow true, particularly. They have not left the relegation Let's struggle last season. This season started. Mm. They have not left the relegation zone. They have been between 17 and 20. Come on, that's where they left of last season and they are continuing from there. I think it, it points to the fact that the management of the team are not doing what they are supposed to do. What happens today? Expect what? another last? Oh, I, 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 I don't know what to expect from a quiet night. It is a quiet night. They can turn up to the party any day and the other day they, they just stay at home. So I think a quiet night have got their work cut off for them. Rangers International, defending champions of the league. If they don't turn up to the party, Rangers International are going to get the maximum three point there at the next of champions. Well, to that, the, the, the fan in front also getting better of him. Will it be the same for you now? Quite difficult. No hope for Aqua United. Well, I think at the moment we're talking about facing defending champions. Defending champions certainly they've got quality as well. So after Rangers enter the moment, they take it for me at the expense of Aqua United. Well, Rangers takes it for him at the expense of Aqua United. Is that conversation? I hope we're really serving this one uh, because it's going to be a bit concerned.